Hello, Brian Lynch here. It's uh, July 17th, 2011. I'm uh, out at the orchard, and uh, today marks a, a pretty big occasion. Uh, the first tree on the hill, so right here, uh, has been planted. Now around it is a, uh, a small retaining wall. Uh, it's about, uh, it's got a diameter of maybe six to eight feet. Uh, it's not very high, it's uh, maybe a foot and a half. And uh, the primary purpose of this retaining wall is just to uh, slow down uh, the water as it runs down the hill so that uh, it will have a time to soak in and uh, water the tree. That's primary, uh, or a main problem with the slopes is that uh, there's often not enough water on them. Uh, this is a, uh, a pluot I planted. Uh, another problem uh, with uh, hills is that uh, it turns out that a uh, tree planted in a 18 gallon pot uh, which is what this was in, is uh, quite heavy. And uh, it's a real pain to carry those things uh, up these uh, hills. And I'm not even on the steepest part of the hill right now. Uh, so what I did was I got a cart, garden cart here, a nice old beat up one, and attached a pulley right there. And uh, I've got this rope connected all the way up at the top of the hill there, uh, to that tree, and uh, just using the system right here makes uh, pulling even 100 plus pound trees up this hill uh, quite easy and uh, worked out uh, extremely well. Just uh, put this down and show you how easy it is to uh, pull this thing up. Down. Now, right now, I only have uh, one pulley, this one pulley uh, on this cart. But uh, in the future, uh, for the really steep parts of the hill over there, uh, I'm thinking I might go to uh, add a second pulley or maybe even a third or a fourth one uh, in order to uh, increase the amount of leverage I have. Uh, so that it's uh, pretty easy to uh, pull this thing up the, uh, or pull trees up the hill. And uh, also, pulling bricks and, off in the distance, cinder blocks uh, is also made a lot easier with a uh, garden cart. <laughs> 